German cop's expedition is cut short when she receives a call forcing her to make a life-altering decision. But before we start, please make sure to subscribe to MNR TV and hit the bell so you never miss any upload from us. Also, leave a like right now. Police officer, Instagram influencer, fitness model, and traveler, Adrienne Kolasar does it all. She is a German woman who is not defined by a solo title. She loves to break boundaries and live life on the edge. But how does a police officer who has such a challenging role manage to have a hobby, or in this case, an alternate job? Turns out Adrienne could not maintain the balance for a long time. On one of her traveling expeditions, Adrian receives an unexpected phone call that urges her to either give up on her dream or lose everything she has ever worked for. For Adrian, becoming a police officer was her dream ever since she was a little girl. Her dad was an officer himself, but he never urged Adrian to follow his footsteps. It was her dream and he supported it proudly. It is important to have a support system in a challenging job like this and Adrian was blessed in that regard. Most officers have to put on a tough exterior because of the nature of their jobs. Adrian was an exception to that for sure. Her gorgeous looks and happy attitude made it difficult for her to keep a tough exterior. But that doesn't make her any less qualified to be an officer. She was good at her job and everybody knew it. Apart from being an officer, Adrian had an alternate passion. It was fitness. She was a fitness model and influencer on Instagram. She promoted a healthy lifestyle and wellness on her page and had quite a following. She loved to share her fitness journey with everyone and inspire others to keep healthy. Being an influencer was almost her second job given that she was approached by companies who were willing to pay her for reviewing their products. And Adrienne loved to spark inspiration in people to live a healthy life. Plus, she would only promote products she has tried herself and swears by. Being a social media influencer has its perks. Adrian got to travel and be a part of numerous events. Plus, the extra income helped pay for the vacations she plans for herself. And throughout every trip, Adrian would share pictures of her journey on Instagram, which in turn would boost her followers. To sum it up, she was living the dream. To say it is not easy to be actively involved in social media when you are an officer would be an understatement. But somehow, Adrian had managed to do so. She works actively as an officer for the major part of her day, all the while managing to do brand deals on her weeks off. Adrian has always been quite transparent with her followers, being aware of the fact that she is a policewoman. Her followers gave her the title of the hottest policewoman. Adrian found the title flattering, but unfortunately, her opinion was not shared by all. Adrian's posts were received with an abundance of love and admiration from her followers except for a few people who were not happy about her pictures. As an officer, they believed Adrienne should realize that she represents the German police, and her posting photographs of herself in swimsuits take a blow at the German police's reputation. Despite the hate comments, Adrienne would never let her spirits get down. She didn't believe it was true that she was ruining the German police's reputation, so she never took any of those comments personally and enjoyed her job as an officer, and she loved her little Instagram community where she could promote wellness and health. Around mid-July of 2018, Adrienne got a chance to go backpacking across Europe for six months. She saw it as an amazing opportunity to explore different cultures and also create some amazing content for her page. Her best friend, who was a photographer, was going to accompany her for the purpose of capturing this journey. As far as work goes, Adrian got a six months unpaid leave from her work to complete her expedition. This cooperation and kindness came as a bit of a surprise for her because she didn't expect anyone to understand why she wants to travel for six months continuously. She was afraid she might have to leave her job to go on this trip, but to her relief, it didn't come to that. Once they had planned their destinations and were done with the arrangements, it was time to hit the road. The duo planned on commencing their journey with Berlin followed by Prague, Amsterdam, Paris, Norway, Budapest, and ending with Finland. Adrian's trip was going great so far. They were in Prague and she was in love with this old city with young energy, it was just hiding between the forested Czech hills, appearing to be small. 
Yet Prague is growing larger than the planes that land here, larger than the dreams Adrian had in her eyes when she looked at the beautiful skyline. Adrian and her friend have been taking amazing pictures throughout their Europe trip. She has been posting them on her Instagram and the response has been amazing. She had already gained so many followers. Her community was past 600,000 followers. People were showering this new content with so much love, it was overwhelming. The new content was not only praised by her followers, but it also attracted many companies who reached out to Adrian for sponsorship and brand deals. Beauty companies wanted her to mention their product as part of her skincare. Lifestyle companies wanted her to promote their healthy snacks, which are also travel friendly and many more. Safe to say this trip was going to make her good money. Paris, the city that never sleeps, the fashion and cultural hub of Europe. Adrian had been to so many places already, but she was in love with Paris, which is ironical since Paris is the city of love. Adrian didn't want this trip to end, but she was happy she still had almost half of her trip left to cover. Little did she know she spoke too soon. Adrian was sipping on her coffee at her current favorite Parisian cafe at Pont Neuf. Her best friend was busy devouring a scone and reading the paper. Adrian tilted her head towards the sun basking in the warmth. She needed to plan these vacations more often. Her daydreaming came to an abrupt halt at the sound of her ringing cell phone. A frown appeared on Adrian's face as she saw who was calling her. She was puzzled. Why now, she wondered, and answered the phone hesitantly. Hello? Her best friend watched her face intently, confused at her worried expressions. Safe to say he did not see the turn of events that followed next. Adrian hung up the phone and looked at her friend with a troubled look. She informed him they have to go back home. Her friend tried to ask for details, but the look on Adrian's face did not allow him to push for answers. He simply nodded and started looking for the next flight out. Adrian sat on her seat with a heavy heart. She knew she was doing the right thing, but she felt blue. She tried to console herself, thinking it was a good thing to end the trip on a good note, i.e. in Paris. But the feeling did not subside. She wished she'd never received that call. Adrian realized she owed her friend an explanation. He has been so understanding about the whole situation and did not pester her for details at all. Adrian informed him that the cell phone call was from her boss, which was surprising because she was on leave. But he had a strong reason to call her. He asked her to end her trip and come back to work. If she fails to come back, she will lose her job here. For Adrian, it was not particularly a tough choice. She knew what the right decision would be, to go back and report for duty. It is her responsibility after all. Yet leaving her trip midway left her feeling sad. She didn't regret her decision though. What she didn't know was that this was just the beginning. While her friend understood Adrian's decision, he didn't understand why her boss was calling her back to work on an ultimatum. Adrian explained that he had genuine reasons. Apparently, there is a shortage of officers back home, and that's why they need her urgently. She repeated, almost trying to convince her friend that it's the right thing to do. Adrian reported to duty the very next day. Her boss, who was pleased to see her dedication, seemed to have something else on his mind too. He asked her to meet him in his cabin at the end of her shift. Adrian went on about her day without giving it much thought. The day went by as usual, and when her shift was finally over, she made her way to the boss's cabin. Turns out Adrian's boss had more issues than just her taking leave from work. He turned his computer screen toward her. It was Adrian's Instagram profile. For some reason, Adrian knew exactly what was coming next. Her boss had issues with her posting photographs of herself in bikinis and swimsuits on her Instagram. It is not just about you, but all of us, the boss explained. As per him, the comments are true. Her photographs are ruining the reputation of the German police. She cannot post pictures and be glad about the condescending remarks like hottest policewoman. He took a deep breath and said, I'm afraid this has to stop, Adrian. Adrian told her boss that she needs some time to think about it. He unwillingly allowed it. She grabbed her bag and left his cabin with a heavy heart. How could she ever choose between the two? It is obvious being a police officer was her dream, but she was passionate about being an influencer too. Adrian knew that this should be an easy choice too. She gave up her traveling plans and came back because this job is her dream. 
so leaving Instagram should be easy too, but it really wasn't. She has built a little community of people who follow her. They are her people. Their support makes bad days easy for her. She can't just give that up. But this job means everything to her. Very few people get to do what they always wanted to do. And she's lucky to be one of those few people. She loved her job. Adrian had a headache thinking about the situation she was in. She did not want to quit Instagram, but losing her job was not a risk she was willing to take. Adrian decided to talk to her boss and find a middle ground. There must be some solution to this, a solution that does not result in her having to choose between the two things which comprise her life. He may refuse it bluntly, but it was at least worth a shot. She wanted to try and ensure she did everything she could before having to give up something. Adrian approached her boss and encouraged him for negotiation. Surprisingly, he was open to the idea. After discussing things for a while, her boss informed her he didn't ask her to delete her Instagram, he only requested to filter out the content she posted on it. As an officer, she has an image to maintain. So it was decided that Adrian doesn't have to let go of her account and she can continue her brand deals and post about fitness and health. All they ask is for her to filter her content all the while keeping in mind her responsibility towards German police. Adrian came to know that her fellow officers were quite supportive of her choices. They had no objection if she posts her fitness journey and healthy lifestyle on her Instagram, but they know how other people look at her pictures and the comments made about German police were uncalled for. While taking time off work and traveling Europe was absolutely fun, Adrian knew she can't do that anymore. She needs to serve her country and report for duty every day. She can't make any compromises on that part anymore. While this may seem rather absurd to some people, Adrian was grateful to her boss for being respectful and understanding. It didn't seem fair that he should get to tell her what she can or can't post on Instagram, but Adrian knew he comes from the right place. Adrian continued her fitness posts on Instagram and kept her followers updated. She still posted her workout videos and recipes for healthy snacks and smoothies for people to try at home, and she does brand deals as well as promoting healthy products and habits. While Adrian continued her duty as an officer, her story went viral on the internet. Media companies wanted to set up an interview with her. She received questions from thousands of Instagram followers every day. People were voicing their opinions on her Instagram posts, and as to be expected, there were various opinions. Some people were saying how it is absolutely unfair for Adrian's boss to decide what she can or can't post on her Instagram, while others were happy that somebody took responsibility and put an end to it. These were mainly the same people who had objections with her pictures in the first place. Adrian is a role model to young girls who aspire to be an officer. She gave up her glam model life as well as the chance of traveling the world to be a policewoman and serve her country. She wanted to inspire people to follow a healthy lifestyle and promote fitness, which she achieved through her job as a social media influencer as well. Adrian is an inspiration to all, not only because of her fitness and healthy lifestyle, but because of the person she is. She handled this situation so gracefully, which cannot be expected from everyone, if they were put in her place. And to this day, she is balancing her work with her passion and being her amazing self as usual.